Hi there, welcome to another edition of the Global Economic Outlook. Uh, my name is Philip, uh, and as usual, I'll take you to one through one major event uh, in the global economy. Remember to click the subscribe button uh, and set up the notification for this channel so that you can uh, follow uh, uh, the economic events as they happen all over the world. Uh, today, the topic is nothing else but the economic cost of terrorism. And this is coming uh, as a result of um, the Taliban taking over uh, the capital city and the presidential palace uh, in Afghanistan. Um, so we look at some history uh, and then we try and see what the costs of terrorism has been over the years. Um, in 2001, uh, when America first invaded Afghanistan, uh, it was in search uh, of the Al-Qaeda leader at the time, Osama bin Laden, uh, who had masterminded one of the biggest terrorist attacks uh, on America, uh, what is popularly called the 9-11 attacks. Uh, you remember that there were a series of suicide attacks uh, that targeted um, the World Trade Center and the Pentagon and led to the death of almost 3,000 people. Um, at the time, uh, in 2001, the Taliban were actually in power in Afghanistan and, the, and America firmly believed uh, they were providing cover uh, for the terrorists uh, and the Al-Qaeda leader. Um, so U.S. invaded Afghanistan and of course deposed uh, the Taliban from power uh, and went after their targets, the terrorists. Uh, and the America has been there for several years since then uh, until, you know, they started removing, uh, they tried a partial withdrawal uh, of their troops. In fact, it took them 10 years to finally uh, locate the Al-Qaeda leader. Uh, so it, it wasn't until 2011 uh, when the uh, Barack Obama administration, you know, was during the Barack Obama administration that um, the Al-Qaeda leader, uh, Osama bin Laden, was eventually killed. Um, so, but over the past few months, there have been a continuous withdrawal uh, of the military forces from Afghanistan, and the Taliban have been able to make a huge advancement and take over now the government of Afghanistan. So we look at the impact of terrorism on the world uh, over the years, um, according to Statista, uh, the Global Statistical Agency, uh, the global economic cost of terrorism was at its highest in 2014 when it reached $115.8 billion. Uh, in 2015, it was $99.6 billion. In 2016, it was $97.9 billion. In 2017, it was $55.8 billion. In 2018, it was $35.1 billion. And in 2019, $26.4 billion. So even though there has been a decline uh, year on year on the cost of economic terrorism, uh, it remains to be seen uh, how much that will rise uh, with the current situation uh, in Afghanistan uh, because it probably leaves um, a lot more room, probably, uh, for terrorism. Uh, but if we look deeper at the countries with the highest economic losses to terrorism, Afghanistan is also on top of that list. Um, as a percentage of their GDP, the economic impact is estimated at about 16.7%. That's way higher than what any other country is experiencing, including Syria, which is at 3.4%, Nigeria, which is at 2.4%. So it's also no surprise that they rank uh, as the highest uh, when it comes to the countries most affected by terrorism. We already saw it from the economic impact. And you see it here again that they are at the top of that list with Iraq and Nigeria are completing the top three. So as many Afghans are seeking a way out of the country, in fact, some of them, many of them are flooded in uh, airports trying to seek uh, a way out of the country uh, just to seek some form of protection um, is normal that the number of refugees from Afghanistan will also rise. Uh, currently, the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees estimates the number at about 2.5 million people. Uh, but suddenly, 
that will go up with the recent development. And if the past is anything to go by, uh, you know, other countries also have to be concerned about the security risks uh, this uh, present situation will pose. And uh, not be only because, you know, of course, they will, for countries who are able to afford it, probably they can afford to take care of the refugees. But now everybody will be, all eyes will be on Afghanistan to see if the Taliban will still uh, enhance or provide cover uh, for those who, uh, for terrorists. So it is, it remains to be seen how much security risks that will pose. Uh, but we can only wait and see. Uh, so the economic cost of terrorism is high, uh, but hopefully uh, this will be a new generation and nothing as severe as what has been experienced in the past will happen again. So that's it on the global economic outlook for this week. Uh, we 